how does it feel to receive the Variety Artisan Award? Huge uh, honor. It's wonderful. I mean, I'm a variety reader, so I'm kind of like a, it's a, it's a lovely honor. I'm very, very thrilled. In a film about communication, how did you approach the visual language of editing? Well, that was always the kind of big draw is this sort of strong female lead, which, you know, at the moment is swimming against the tide, I think, in life. And, uh, and a film about intelligence and education and with a message of unity, tolerance. I mean, you know, who'd have thought that would have done so well? <laughs> What, in that vein, what message would you like audiences to take away from this film? Well, we always struggle very hard to make sure that the film hit the head and the heart at the same time and, uh, and in the same amount. And that's, I always think about films, you know, that I've seen where I come out of the cinema and I go into find my car in the car park. And it's that moment when you've got the keys in your hand. Are you still thinking about the film or are you thinking about the fact you're low on gas or you need to pick up nappies or something? <laughs> And I would hope that this is a film that's thought-provoking and has a philosophical message and a few jokes about Sheena Easton, so it's not all straight philosophy. But I hope it does, you know, I think there's a really great takeaway message from the film that's very positive. It's really a film about humans, not about aliens at all. Mothers and daughters. Mothers and daughters, very much so. What's next for you? Uh, we're right in the thick of Blade Runner, so I'm doing my third film with Denny, and um, we had very little break between the last two, so we're on a good roll, and uh, we're about, I don't know, halfway through a director's cut at the moment, so after this I'll drive back and get on with that.